Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good Tuesday. In today's video, we are checking out a game that has been on my radar for quite some time. And I'm sure some of you guys are in the same boat about that. But this game is called Iron Harvest, which to sum it up as quickly as possible so we can hop into the action, is a classic real-time strategy game set in the alternate reality of 1920 plus. Now, the reason that I'm excited for this game, other than the fact of the diesel punk machinery that we're gonna get in this game, I love, love diesel punk. It's a soft spot for me. And I can't wait to see the other ridiculous mechanized killing machines in this game. But other than that, this game favors tactics over clicks per second. So it's not gonna be who can spam this unit the most, who can gather resources the most. It's gonna be who has the better strategy, who has the better tactic going into the battle. Also, almost everything in this game is destructible. So if your weapon is big enough or if your force is big enough, no cover will stand in your way. And what that means to me is that the gameplay won't be as predictable as other titles. And last but not least, the Iron Harvest team is boasting about an epic campaign and strong character development, which means a lot to me because in today's climate, um, almost everything is focused around military, which isn't a bad thing, but it's also nice to be able to play by yourself and relax without having, you know, the stresses of multiplayer. So big thank you to the Iron Harvest team for allowing me to check out this demo they have provided for today's video. If you guys do enjoy what you see today, I'll be linking the Kickstarter page for you guys to check out everything you need to know about this game and what it will bring to the table. Oh my gosh, please, please, Iron Harvest, allow us to play something like this or to build something like this. This thing has to be like 500 meters high. And that's what you're able to do with the uh, reality they put you in this game. Okay, so here we are. Welcome to the gameplay. Now, the first thing that, that bleh, the first thing that needs to be said is that this is super, super pre-alpha. So everything you see here is probably going to change. The detailing is probably going to change. The optimization is probably going to change. The movement is probably going to change. Iron Harvest was just really nice to allow me to play this demo for you guys here today. Now, the game mode we're playing is like a horde mode or a challenge mode. We have our main base here. We can capture other bases to increase our supply or maybe get different units, but they will keep getting stronger and we're going to have to keep building up and increasing our forces to counter them. So that's kind of the gist. Now we're gonna get set up here on the rear, on the right, and forward. I think that's a good strategy so far. And here is the headquarters, and this is the workshop. So from the headquarters, we can build some um, riflemen, and then from the workshop, we can start building the huge mechanized, wow. Mech bar, very good. Slow but well-armored mech. It's Gatling gun attacks multiple targets in a cone in front of the unit. And then this recon mech, powerful but slow gun, effective up to medium armor. Bayonet for close combat. Okay, sign me up. So we're just gonna build a rifle squad right now. And we're gonna collect these resources that uh, they have given us. Okay, first wave incoming, we got them down low. Let's bring these guys right here. Quick boys. Pretty easy first round, but nice little rag dolls we have. I've shot them right in the kidneys. Okay, and then so we can pick these guys up or pick this resource up. And as you can see down here, um, they're just a normal rifleman squad. But with some resources that we do get on the land or from killing things, picking things up, now we're a, a grenade or we are, we're able to throw grenades um, compared to the normal rifle squad. And then we'll just pick up some resources, 150 oil and some steel and we have one two three four is that is that the normal no there should be hang on i think we lost two or three guys and how we can resupply that is we'll go back to our headquarters and we'll press add unit okay so five men squads i think get them back there and we have now this guy is ridiculous this is a mortar battle suit 
And what this guy's do what he does is, well, his whole suit's a mortar. Two mortars to be exact. And he'll crouch over and just launch these things down uh down the battlefield. Very slow though, it took up a lot of our resources. Now I want to see if we can kind of capture this area. Ah. Yeah, we'll send one squad over here. It doesn't look like anyone's defending it. We'll send two though, in case our in case we haven't spotted them over there. And we'll build another. Actually, two squads. A rifleman. Okay, we got some more guys coming in. This guy came out of nowhere. Come on, there we go. Don't don't kill my big guy. I need him. Lay it down. Watch him go. Fire! Oh, there goes a whole squad. Very effective against infantry, obviously. We got two or three, one more left. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. These guys aren't showing up on the radar. Getting some more steel. And... Well, I didn't want you guys to come over here. We'll set these guys up on this perimeter. And now we have this captured. Okay, now what does that mean? Do we get a bigger influx of materials? No, still plus 20. We're going to need oil. How do we get oil? Well, there's oil over there, but I want oil production. And I don't see any oil production. Let's take these guys out. Grenade going out. Good nade. Perfect. One more left. Get this oil. Quick, 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 quick. There's some more guys right there, but I don't care. I need to build a heavy mech. Maybe this is it? Oh gosh. Why did you guys do that? Only one guy, only one more guy left right here. That's okay. We got a lot of oil. Oh! Okay, we can build a ton of riflemen, which we will. And with that oil, we can. Oh, come on. I'll take it. Okay, we have really no front line right now. These guys go here. And as you can see, I'm not the best RTS player. I'm not the... Oh, goodness gracious. How do we kill this thing? Good gosh. Look at that house on... I would say house on wheels, but it's on feet. It has like, that is a house with a massive Gatling gun. Our mortar guy is trying to kill it, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. Let's take out this mech here. Okay, he's here, he's here. Kill him, kill him. Now, this guy should be able to deal with medium armor because his... I don't know if you hit him right there. Oh my gosh, yes. He like pretty much takes out like one eighth of his health every shot. There he goes. Destroyed. I wonder if we can send an assault over here. But we have 60 seconds until the fifth wave. What we'll do is that we'll counter this fifth wave and then we'll make an assault up to this area. At the same time, 
Oh gosh. Okay. So we have two mortar guys and how we can counter that mortar guys. We can send out a party, maybe two squads to flank. He's already firing. What is this thing underneath? What, what, uh, what did you? Oh my gosh. Please don't be like a thing that digs underneath the ground. Okay. Flank boys flank. Ah, we do get resources from that. Interesting. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Move! Oh, he killed himself. Okay, keep moving away from this guy. There we go. That medium guy took him out. And now, can we take out this so we can capture that oil deposit? Come on, guys. We got some grenades here. Mm, is that enough? They look like good, really good grenades. Yeah, that will do it. One more guy left. Two more guys left. Come on! Okay, there we go. Let's capture this. We, we need that oil. Ah. Let's see how he does with this. Woo! Keep doing that! Yeah, one of those does it's like almost one-third damage each time. Miss those though. Both are dead. These guys look like they're they might be moving out, but seventh wave is incoming. Oh guys, I'm I'm toast. I'm toast. We'll have the uh, our mech go for the heavy targets. I'm having my mortars go for their mortars. This guy should be dead, right? Our mortars, our mortar guy is dead. Okay, I think they just committed suicide. All we have left is this one little rifleman. Don't have that much cash. We can resupply him though. Mm, I think that's done though. And we got to wait for the next wave incoming. Yeah, these guys are really good. We might we probably should have had one or two of them. Let's see how we do pushing this. We got to cap more. We need more resources. Ah, oh, but they're already incoming, though. I can't move these units off. Don't have enough for, like, a, a secondary force. Oh, look at that. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move this big guy up to the top. Hang on, and we fire. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, we killed about two or, or no, never mind. We only killed about two or three. The rest of them went prone. These guys are extremely strong though. Not enough. This is we're fucked. We need to protect. Wait, let's let's have this guy get into close range combat. I want to see what he does with his bayonet. There we go. Or no, he's, he's still fired. Get him. Yeah, shoot, shoot his ankles. Uh, we're getting tag teamed. We made it to the ninth wave though. I mean, we can still spawn some of these guys, but it's pretty much game over. Oh, look at you sniping my guys from way out there. That's mean. We definitely should have had two or three of these guys. Yeah. Two or three of these guys. Rip and reperonis. Rip and reperonis. Run away. Don't don't look at them. Stay alive! Mm. There we go, defeat. Wow, we almost survived all the enemy waves. I'm sure that if we went back and got the mortars, or two or three of those mortar guys, I think we could have done that. Guys, I uh, hope you have enjoyed the gameplay. hope you have enjoyed this video. Again, guys, check out that Kickstarter if you are interested. Until next time, guys. Peace out.